it's not other wrestling hour. So I just got through talking. Um, go to my blog and look at my blog eight, and uh, check out my um. Excuse me, y'all. Check out my vlog and I'm me talking about the Min Young situation. But I want to come and I want to talk about um, TNA Impact. Um, a lot of things I want to talk about from last night. So first and foremost, I want to wish all the men for from the Feast of Fire Fury cases from Moose. To Ethan Carter the third, Kitty Williams, and Eli Drake. I want to wish all four of them congratulations. But somebody is getting the pink slip, and I pray and hope it's not Moose. I got a funny feeling it is EC3 who got the pink slip. So, hello. Now. Uh, let me just give you some insight what I, how I feel about the Feast of Fire Fairy cases. When I first started, I liked it, it and liked it until when Chavo Guerrero come when Chavo Guerrero and Big Hernandez competed. And Chavo Guerrero got the pink slip. Now it was two two different occasions. I did not like it. Well, it was doing when when Chavo Guerrero got the pink slip. I felt like that wasn't right. And Tina should have fought a little bit more to keep him. That's one. Number two, when Velvet, when Robbie E. go, I didn't pick this case. Velvet Sky, you, this is for you. Uh, this is you. And like, she got the pink slip and she left. And, um, but it was a, and then they, then like a couple months later, they brought her back. I just thought that was so, so brilliant and stuff. And so, yeah. So that was that. Okay. We'll get to the last thing first. So, as we know of last week, Allie, Allie won the women's title belt from Laurel Venice. As y'all know, um, her real name is, um, oh my God, Shen, uh, um, last name is Green. I can't think of her first name. Oh, sorry, y'all. But, um, I have this to say, um. I'm going to say this. Who Sienna narrow-minded but thinks she is? As y'all know from my old channel, I do not like Sienna as far as I can throw her because of her brother. I'm not saying her brother. Because of her cousin, KM. And I'm going to get a little bit into that on this video, too. Um, Do I believe Sienna deserves an opportunity for Allie's title belt? No, I feel like she should earn it. So, TNA, going on and put Allie against a title, somebody like this, I feel like it's wrong. Automatically giving Sienna an opportunity will not and not letting her earn that opportunity. That's a slap in Allie's face. Allie should have a time to rest and stuff. And I just feel that it's much more right. Now, now I do believe Allie is much more of a more a good wrestler. She's getting better since that um Brian's that um since her boy her I think it's her husband or boyfriend, Brian Saxton. It's not coming down to the ring with that. That's cool. I haven't seen him wrestled in almost several months. I think he's out on, on out on injury leave or something like that. But it'll be kind of cool to see him return. Now, a lot of things I got to talk about. L, I mean, O-V-E, uh, O-V-E, what the crap, um, the Cal, the... Jeremy Callahan, who used to be part of the NX, WWE NXT, uh, and and stuff. I just have this to say. What the heck? First, you attack Bobby Lasley. And Bobby Lasley and Eddie Edwards showed you who was bossed. Then, 
the two eggheads tried to challenge then y'all eggheads try to challenge all three of y'all trying to challenge Bobby Leslie. Now I'm gonna get to Bobby Leslie in a minute. Now I have this to say. I just feel I just feel a lot of things that Tina is doing. Some of it is good, some of it is bad. So let me just tell you Congo Kong. Okay. They are trying to make Congo Kong the new abyss. And that's why Jeremy, I don't the guy who comes out with him. Um y'all know that's E um Robbie E with a new persona, right? That's Robbie E with a new persona. Okay. I just got this to say that I, I like. I'm going and this is the last part. Um I'm gonna get on Bobby Leslie in a minute, but this um but I mean I got this to say Kano Kong would never amount to be anything like Abyss. Okay, I haven't seen James Mitchell in years. Oh my God, that old man come out there, da 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 da, da and then Abyss comes out. We haven't seen Abyss in years, so everybody knew Abyss and Joseph Park is one in the same. Hello. So, my thing is this. My thing is this. Getting Congo Kong in a Monster Balls match. Kondo Kong do not know what he just got himself into. Kondo Kong and that little idiot that comes out with him do not know what they got they but into. Now let me get, talk about this title picture. So you got your top superstars right now. So who's the um, champion at the moment? It's Austin Aries. And he holds uh, several other title belts from other arenas. That's one. Then you have um oh give me a minute y'all you have Austin Aries who's a champion then you got um Johnny Impact who has a a double dual excuse me all a double dual contract so we're gonna I'm um, talk about that at a later um on uh, in another video at a later date you have him you got Liberto El Patron and now you got um. Eli Drake, who's trying to get back into that picture. Um, I'm going to have a lot to say about that in, in, an, in an upcoming video. But I'm, I, I'm happy that um, Austin Aries is back on there. And I, I'm, I'm just going to say this. Eli Drake is no heavyweight champion material. I'm sorry, y'all. He is, uh, he's like, he's like a one-time only material for that heavyweight title belt. Now, what I, one thing I don't like is, I don't like Alberto. I used to like Alberto Del Rio. Uh, Alberto, you can say Alberto Del Rio, Alberto El Patron, whatever. I do not like him. I'm being honest. I don't like him. I'm not dogging him in what so what. I don't, something about him, I just don't like. But I don't like, he plays like, oh, I'm entitled to this. I didn't really lose the title belt. Oh, if you didn't really lose the title belt, then why they took the title from you? Mm, I don't know. So my thing is to, to say this, y'all. Is I would love to say this. Okay, as as it has been known in some of the wrestling um news outlets, that Vince McMahon wants him back. Don't give him the, if you want him back, don't give him a John Cena contract. Don't give him a rock contract. Don't give him no Triple H contract. He think because his daddy is a because he's wrestling royalty. He should automatically be get stuff. And I understand um some of the wrestlers when they say Roberto El Patron gets a bigger locker room. Yeah, y'all might think he's a bigger star to me. I don't see star power. I just feel feel like because who his dad is. Because who his dad is. 
They just give stuff to them. So y'all, let me hear what you, you what you got to say about some of the things that went down last night. Uh, my favorite, if I could say my favorite thing, um, I like seeing James Mitchell and Abyss reunited once again. So I think that a few is going to be some a good few. Um, but I don't want to talk. I want to give. Um, Rosemary and Tara Valkyrie, their own video. So that's going to be coming sometime this weekend. Until then, I'm Alicia Burton. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe.